Hello friends, in this video, we are going to understand the working of a pitot static tube. A pitot static tube is basically a device which is used to measure air speed of an aircraft. It is also used in wind tunnels as well as aircrafts. So let us understand how the pitot static tube works. Now this is the this is how a pitot static tube looks like. So we can see there are two tubes, two concentric tubes here. One you can see a green color tube and which is an inner tube and then the outer tube is a blue color tube. Now we can see that airflow is entering this green tube. Now as the airflow enters this green tube, now there is a blockage at the end of this green tube and due to this blockage, air becomes stagnant inside this green tube so air particles here are stagnant but they are moving in with high energy so they create a pressure here okay so inside this tube there is a there is high pressure and this pressure is known as total pressure this pressure is known as total pressure okay now so we have understood that inside the green tube we have a pressure which is known as total pressure because the air particles are moving fast are coming in fast but they are stopped now let us consider the outer tube okay now in the outer tube we have this walls here so air particles cannot enter like this okay so they cannot enter directly okay so but air flow is flowing like this on this outer tube we have some slots we have some holes these are known as static holes these are known as static holes so the air particles are not directly entering they are not directly entering but since the particles are moving randomly also because there is always some random motion involved because of this random motion there is some pressure inside this port and these ports can sense some pressure which is known as static pressure which is known as static pressure so inside this blue line we have we have a pressure which is called as static pressure in another video i have properly defined what is static pressure total pressure and dynamic pressure please check that video so now we have understood that inside this blue line we have static pressure inside that green line we have total pressure now let us understand how can we measure air speed using the total pressure and the static pressure now this is a block diagram of an air speed indicator now the total pressure line and static pressure lines are connected to this air speed indicator now in this air speed indicator this part is known as diaphragm we have a diaphragm here so diaphragm is a disc like thick a corrugated disc like thing and which is hollow from inside so this is hollow from inside okay so the total pressure line is directly connected to the diaphragm and the total pressure enters the diaphragm so inside the diaphragm we have total pressure now static pressure line is connected to this air speed indicator the casing of this edge so this is the casing so this is this white thing this is the casing so this static pressure line enters the casing and fills this area so you can see this blue blue thing so all this blue thing basically indicates the static pressure okay so inside the casing we have static pressure but we have diaphragm also and this diaphragm is filled with total pressure so diaphragm experiences total pressure from inside and static pressure from outside so due to this there is a differential pressure so inside there is total pressure outside static pressure but there is a difference in both the pressures now since there is difference in both the pressures and the total pressure will be more than static pressure since the aircraft is moving so total pressure is basically a combination of static pressure and dynamic pressure so the total pressure will always be more so the diaphragm will expand so it will expand like this as the diaphragm expands this linear movement is captured by with some levers and gear linkages and is converted into the movement of needle so then this needle moves with respect to the movement of this diaphragm now let us understand how does this indicate the airspeed now we know that 
inside the diaphragm i have total pressure outside the diaphragm i have static pressure and what is the difference between total pressure and static pressure that is known as dynamic pressure and the formula for this dynamic pressure is half rho v square so this dynamic pressure is basically the measurement of air speed where rho is the air density is the density of the air and v is the air speed so we can say that this so we can say that moment of this diaphragm is proportional to the air speed and this is carefully calibrated with the help of these levers and gear linkages so that the needle indicates exactly the air speed so needle will indicate exactly the air speed so the air speed which is indicated here in this type of air speed indicator is known as indicated air speed or i a s so i hope this video explains how the air speed is measured how the air speed indicator works and how the pitot static tube contributes in the measurement of air speed so i will see you in the next video thank you